You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over and talking about the leaks that we've got thus far in NBA 2K23 my team obviously guys there is gonna be one more to come and we do know that is going to be Shaq and at this stage since we've got a pink diamond metal leak as well as a pink diamond Grant Hill leak I do expect Shaq to be a Galaxy Opal. So we're I expect a Galaxy Opal Shaq as well as a Pink Diamond and maybe Diamond Shaq. I, that's kind of what I am expecting. But here's what we know so far, okay? We do know that this kind of deck the hall thing is dropping. Doesn't really matter to me. Then Diamond Lori Marketing, Pink Diamond Grant Hill, as well as Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony. Now, let's start at the bottom with Lori Marketing. Now we're gonna work our way up, but here's the deal with Lori Marketing. The guy is gonna be a 6'11 small forward with a 7'4 wingspan. He's gonna have a decent three ball Lori release, which I mean, again, I don't know ex exactly what that's working with. We'll have to see tomorrow. Basic dribble style, basic leaner. He's gonna be able to shoot the ball. And I mean, honestly, I don't expect his defense to be that bad. Maybe a better version of a guy like this is what we're is what you guys should expect. I don't expect his defense to be that great uh, as far as a Zen player. I mean, look, he's six eleven at the small forward. He's gonna be able to shoot dunk. I mean, he's gonna ha not be a perfect card. So maybe expect on the defensive end of the court for him to maybe struggle with that a little bit. But again, he is six eleven with a pretty long wing span. So expect him to hold it down. Am I the highest on Lori Marketing? No. I think he is the worst card we will talk about in this video today. But it's more so just because I think the other two cards are absolutely incredible and absolutely outstanding. I don't think Laurie Marketing's is going to be bad at all. at all. And if he is cheap, I mean, maybe for like no money spent budget ballers out there, he is worth a look. Then we saw the pink diamond Grant Hill. Now, I need you guys to know that right now the shooting guard position, it's it's loaded, Okay. But Grant Hill is going to be a top three shooting guard in the game. Almost unquestioned, undoubtedly. Now, why do I say that? Okay, what is so special about this card in Grant Hill? Now, is it the pro dribble style? No. I mean, I don't I don't think the pro dribble style is that bad. I don't think it's one of the worst in the game. But I don't think it is great at the same time. It does have an easy release to green, though, and Vando release. I do think, hopefully, they put it on quick tomorrow. Do I think they will? Probably not, but it's one thing I hope is that they do put it on quick. If he does get that release on quick, a super, super chick release in my team. But the reason I like Grant Hill so much is because he's going to play great defense. If the Amethyst Grant Hill had these type of defensive stats, imagine the defensive stats on the pink diamond Grant Hill. Now, we're getting Grant Hill later on right now than we normally do. Like, we saw this diamond in October with incredible defensive stats. Then we saw the Galaxy Opal in March. So, I don't, or in February. So, I don't really have an accurate uh, description on what Grant Hill is going to be. Expect him to have absolutely incredible defense with some solid badges. Probably expect Hall of Fame quick first step. Finishing wise, we know he's going to be incredible. I just think the card's going to be elite all the way around. That That's just my opinion. Because even if he gets. A little bit better stats than this Amy's Grant Hills. I just, I mean, he's going to be outstanding. He's going to have all the badges you could ask for, especially defensively. His standing driving dunk is going to be good. His defense is going to be incredible. He's going to be 6'8". Just a more defensive version of a guy like Tracy McGrady and probably a better slasher than T-Mac. I know a lot of people who got Tracy McGrady are like, are you kidding me? Because the one thing T-Mac had going for him is the fact that he was 6'8". Now, T-Max player model is better than Grant Hills. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat that. I'm not going to try to deny that because T-Max is 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan. And T-Max player model just looks absolutely massive in-game. But Grant Hill, he's going to get the job done. He's been my... Do y'all remember when I was running this Grant Hill for the longest time? Who remembers? I know y'all are a real one if y'all remember me running this Grant Hill forever because I literally ran this card into the ground and he had 40 interior at the time. It was crazy that I even ran him with 40 interior, but I loved the card. Literally was in love with him for the longest time. And obviously he's going to see a better than 40 interior defense come tomorrow. So say what you want about Grant Hill. It's hard to hate the card. And then the most recent news is that we're getting a pink diamond Carmelo Anthony in my team. Now, we know, know that a Shaq is probably coming. Pink diamond Melo, is it a surprise? 
I mean, maybe because it's not been that long since we've gotten Carmelo Anthony. Now, the one thing that everybody loves about Carmelo Anthony specific, specifically is his release. His release is going to be way better on next gen than current gen because on current gen, he still is going to take those long twos. On next gen, maybe one of the best, probably top five releases in the game. It's hard to contest, number one. It's easy to green, number two. Combine both those things with the fact that he's already got MJ dribble style. I'm going to say something that might be very controversial. Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony on next gen is better than Dark Matter Larry Bird. And I don't even know the stats and badges of him. I just know he's going to be a better version of this card who was out already outstanding. They give him a little better defense, a little better playmaking, a little better driving dunk. How is this card not going to be better than Larry Bird? I mean, he's got MJ dribble style. He's got the normal leader, mellow base on quick. I don't know how they could possibly mess up Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony. I don't. So on next gen, you're looking at this card probably being a top two or three small forward in the entire game. Now, Maybe Larry will be better because of his defense, but I just have a hard time seeing it because Melo literally is going to have that best release in the game. Nobody can ever take that away from him. Whereas Larry Bird is still working on his release on normal timing with no updated dribble six. This card is going to in literally force 2K to update Larry Bird. If they don't update Larry Bird come tomorrow after we're seeing Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony, that th there's something wrong because I'm telling you guys right now, I know Carmelo Anthony and Grant Hill aren't the highlights of the set, but they are both going to be top three at their respective positions. So if you've wanted a deep content drop, you've got it tomorrow. You've got it. I don't know how great Shaq's going to be, but it's literally going to be impossible for 2K to mess up Carmelo Anthony and for 2K to mess up Grant Hill. They've let us down with Tracy McGrady. They've let us down with LaMelo Ball. It's literally going to be impossible for them to let us down with Carmelo Anthony. We've already got a mellow like this, and some people still use the card. If he sees a few more badges, a little better defense, it's going to be impossible for him to be a letdown. It literally is. If we go to past years, even look at this pink diamond mellow. I don't know when he came out. Okay, obviously he was a level 40, so he doesn't count. But if we look at a mellow we saw in February, I mean, these, this is the defense he's got. If he gets any sort of defense close to this, I don't expect it to be nearly as good. But even close to this, he's your starting small forward. He is going to be that good in my team. Again, hard release to get a contest on super, super quick. And it's easy to green. He's basically the whole package in my team. So between Grant Hill and Carmelo Anthony, I really do both think they are going to be top three at their respective positions. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me on that, but I mean, it's it's hard to really argue that. Grant Hill is a 6'8 shooting guard that fits the meta of the game. The rim running meta literally fits Grant Hill, and he's going to be great defensively. Carmelo Anthony is going to be an absolute knockdown spot up shooter that's going to be very much improved over that diamond on the defensive end of the court. And so I have a really, really hard time seeing either of those guys not play on the best squad in the game. Now, Laurie Marketing again, for budget ballers, or if you are no money spent, I get if you like him or want to use him. But for me specifically, I don't think he plays for me. That's, that's just kind of my opinion on things. But all in all, guys, I can't hate the content we're getting tomorrow. I, I really can't. I think it's going to be a deep content drop from what I'm at least seeing right now. And because we aren't getting content on Tuesdays, they better start dropping soup every single Friday. I'm really high on both Melo and Grant Hill coming to NBA 2K23 my team tomorrow. That's gonna wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Never bless that.